Good morning, good morning, good morning. I wanted to take some time to talk to you about your emotion. Hold on, let me turn this light up. Sometimes we have so many different lights going on, you can't really focus on what's actually around you because all these lights beaming at you. Okay, so today I wanted to take a few minutes and do a quick video and I wanted to talk about your emotional state. Your emotional state affects your attitude, your focus, it affects your decisions and your ability to act. How many of y'all know that when your emotions are all over the place, you can't really focus, you can't really make sound decisions because you're all over the place in your mind. So what I wanna do is I wanna give you five tips, five things that you can do that you can apply right now to help deal with your emotional state because the ability to manage your emotional state is a power skill and it has to be mastered if you want to be able to get the most out of your day and one thing i want you to understand that if you can control your emotional state you'll be a whole lot happier and much more successful so number one we're going to talk about moving around moving is one of the effective ways to change your emotional state. One, here's just a few things you can do in moving. Stand straighter, you know, do jumping jacks, dance, stand up quickly, spin around, walk walk like a robot, run, skip, just move. Go up and down the stairs if you live in the house. Go walk up to the mailbox. If you feel like you're sitting at your desk for too long and you feel like, man, I'm starting to feel like I don't wanna do anything, I'm starting to feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Just get up and move. You know, get up and walk to the mailbox. Get up and walk to the corner. Come back. I do it all the time, y'all. It's funny. I walk downstairs. I walk back upstairs. And then I go check the mailbox. And then I come back in. Get your body moving, especially if you work from home and you sit around all day. Next, this, the tip number two, laugh. Laughing feels good. Girl, let me tell you, it's nothing like having a good laugh. Somebody just that you can just talk to and they just cause you to bust out laughing. Laughter makes you feel differently and changes your emotional state quickly. Think about something funny. Watch something funny on TV like your comedian. Talk with a friend that you that always got jokes going around. It's good to laugh. The Bible says laughter is good for the soul. So when you take time to just laugh, I'm not just saying walk around just, <laughs> just busting out laughing at everything. But find something that makes you laugh, makes you smile. Sometimes I go on Facebook and I look at a friend of mine, two friends of mine, that actually post memes. And I'm telling you, they give me the most gut-wrenching laughs. And when I need a break, a mental break, or a shift in my emotional state, I immediately look at their memes and I just sit there for about 15, 20 minutes and just crack up laughing. It's hilarious. Um, number three, tip number three, give yourself a change of scenery, okay? It's amazing how much, how much differently you can feel if you just move to a new location. And what I mean by that is like, it's, and say for instance, for me, I work upstairs and I work in my room, right? So sometimes I just need to change the scenery. I'll take my computer or at least one of them or two of them and I'll take it downstairs in the dining room. And some of you may see me doing some of my videos in the dining room just to have a change of scenery. Sometimes you just need that. Um, another way is, you know, sit on your patio, you know, go to the library, walk around the park, just do take a minute and just change. And this is especially for those that work from home. You know, when you're at home all day and you're looking at the same computer every single day, you look in, you go downstairs, you in the same house, you work from home and already because of COVID, most people are in the house all day, all, most of the time anyway. Do a change of scenery. If you have a patio in the back, go in the back patio and sit down, you know, and take your computer with you. Change of scenery can also change your emotional state. Do something that challenges you or frightens you. I would prefer the word challenge. If you want to take your mind off your current thoughts, fears, and fears, um, the most effective way to do it is to challenge yourself. 
Strike up a conversation that attracts a stranger. You know, just go out and like what I did yesterday. I just went out and just started talking to my neighbor yesterday across the street. I didn't even know him. You know, I just started talking to him. Hey, how you doing? How, you know, da, 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 da. And, and I thought to myself, like, what in the world? But sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need to, to just get out and just, you know, and just do something out of your norm. Um, go to the store and just start talking to people. Hey, how you doing? How's everything going? Just, you know, just take that time and interact with other people. Sometimes when you're working from home and you don't, and your kids are in school or your kids are out of the house or your kids are at work, whatever the situation is, or you even home alone, you're sitting there and it's just you. You're talking to yourself all day. Get out and talk to other people. Do something different. Get outside your comfort zone. All right, tip number four, do something new, unexpected. You know, um, one of the things that I did was just start doing live videos. <laughs> That's my way of doing something new and unexpected because it's something that I have to push myself to do because I'm more comfortable in a one-on-one -on -one setting. So I have to position myself and, and make myself um, more vulnerable, more open, more available to um, allow people into my inner space and allow them and allow, make myself vulnerable so that when I'm talking and I'm describing different things that are going on in my life, that people can relate. And which is one of the reasons why I did Sisterhood Check-In. I did Sisterhood Check-In, you know, to create a platform and an opportunity for um, women to come on and share their testimonies. We get an opportunity to, di to dialogue about who we are and what we do. So that was like an out of the box, out of the box thing. So do something new, unexpected. Something that you wouldn't expect yourself to do, like go live. <laughs> so those are my tips. I hope you enjoyed them. If you have something that you um, want me to talk about, make sure you click like and share and blah, blah, blah.